Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ha? and it's up this topic, solving system of nonlinear equations using substitution method. So from this given equation, observe, there is like terms. So these are terms with the same variables and the same exponents. So using the elimination method, we can eliminate this variable. But in the system, we still have two variables left. So therefore, we cannot use elimination method to find the solution of this equation. So we're going to use the substitution method. So using substitution method, we need to isolate one variable. So from this equation, because we can easily isolate this y so we just need to transpose this negative y to the right side so this becomes 2x minus 3 then equals positive y then substitute the value to the other equation so since y is equal to 2x minus 3 so we need to substitute this 2x minus 3 to this equation so this becomes x squared plus y squared and y is equal to 2x minus 3 so 2x minus 3 then to the power 2 then minus 5x minus 21 equals 0 then solve and simplify so we need to expand this equation so we have x squared then plus so using s m s so s that's the square of the first term so the square of 2x this one is 4 x squared then m for multiplication so 2 times negative 3 that's negative 6 so negative 6 times 2x that's negative 12x then s the square of the second term so the square of 3 that's 9 then bring down negative 5x and negative 21 equals 0 then combine like terms so this x squared plus 4x or 1 plus 4 this one is 5 x squared then this negative 12x and negative 5x so negative 12 negative 5 that's negative 17x then this positive 9 minus 21 so 9 minus 21 that's negative 12 then equals 0 then since this one is a quadratic equation so we're going to solve this one using factoring so in factoring so first we need to write this 5x to every uh, factors so we have 5x and 5x then this negative 12 multiply to 5 so 5 times negative 12 that's negative 60 then we need to list all the factors of this negative 60 since this one is negative so one of the factor is positive and one is negative but since the middle term is negative so therefore the bigger number of the factor must be negative so these are now the factors of negative 60 so we have negative 60 times 1 or you have negative 30 times 2 then a uh, negative 20 times 3, a uh, negative 10 times 6, negative 15 times 4. So these are the factors of negative 60. Then add all the factors. So we have negative 60 plus 1. This one is negative 59. Negative 30 plus 2. That's negative 28. Negative 20 plus 3, that's negative 17. Negative 10 plus 6, negative 4. Negative 15 plus uh, 4, that's negative 11. 
since the middle term is negative 17 and this one is negative 17, so therefore, these are the factors of negative 60. So we have negative 20 and positive 3. Then we need to simplify some of the factor since 5 and 20 divisible by 5. So this becomes uh, 5 divided by 5, that's 1. So therefore this one is x. Then minus 20 divided by 5, this one is 4. Then just copy the second factor, so 5x plus 3 equals 0. So these are the factors of this quadratic equation. Then to solve for x, so we need to equate these two factors to 0. So this x minus 4, so x minus 4 equals 0. And the other one, this 5x plus 3 equals 0. So to solve for x, we have x equals transpose this negative 4, so x equals positive 4. Then the other one, so we have 5x equals transpose this positive 3, that becomes negative 3. Then divide both sides by 5, cancel, so x now is equal to negative 3 over 5. So these are the values for x. Then to solve for y, so solve for y from this equation, y equals 2x minus 3. So y equals 2x minus 3. So if x equals positive 4, so at x equals positive 4, so substitute this value to this formula. So we have y equals 2 times x. x is 4, then minus 3. So y equals 2 times 4, this one is 8, then minus 3. So y is positive 5. Then the other one, so at x equals negative 3 over 5. So x is negative 3 over 5. So from this equation, so y equals, so we have 2 times x and x is negative 3 over 5, then minus 3. Then simplify, so 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6 over 5, then minus 3. Then using cross multiplication, so this one is over 1. So we have this negative 6 times 1, that's negative 6. Then this 5 times negative 3, that's negative 15. Then over this 5 times 1, that's 5. Then simplify, so y equals, so this negative 6, negative 15, that's negative 21, then over 5. So this is the value for y. So therefore, the solution of the system, so if x equals positive 4, y equals positive 5. And if x equals negative 3 over 5, y equals negative 21 over 5. So these are the solutions of this nonlinear equation.